hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So first of all here we are in adobe after effect as always let's create a new composition i'll call it as main animation as always width is 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 duration let's say 10 seconds and background color let's choose white color and simply hit ok and then hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title section now i'll press ctrl n to create another composition i'll call it as character and hit ok now we have to create a character for our animation so i'm going to create one ellipse and for the fill i'm going to choose this bluish color you are free to choose any color you want because we are simply going to create one character now by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse like this then select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now select the shape layer hit enter let's call it as main then hit ok then hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's call this as i and hit ok now press s and let's scale it down and over here go to the fill and let's choose white color for this and press v and let's adjust it over here now we will go inside this contents and we will have this ellipse over here so now i'm going to select this ellipse and i'll hit ctrl d then select this ellipse and let's move this ellipse over here like this now when you click on this eye you can select both of them and then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center like this okay so this is how we can create uh, one uh, i mean two ellipse within the one shape layer okay now uh, what we are gonna do we are gonna select this main we will hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's move this over here hit enter let's call it as pupil and hit ok press s and scale it like this and go to the fill option and let's choose black color and hit ok and let's move this over here like this ok oh, again we will follow the same procedure simply go to the content select this ellipse hit ctrl d and by holding shift i am going to move this ellipse over here like this ok now again select this uh, main hit ctrl d let's move this over here press s scale it like this and we will bring this thing over here now this is uh, what you think it is now we are going to create one nose and for the nose suppose i'm going to choose i think this color looks good to me it looks quite funny also so i'll stick with this okay now we have to create one simple mouth also so i'm gonna select this m again but before that let's select this hit enter and let's call it as nose first okay now select this main hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top hit enter and let's call it as mouth okay press s and scale it like this and let's delete this fill we don't want that and for the stroke i'm going to choose white color and let's increase the stroke size like this then go to the add menu and we are going to choose trim path go to the trim path and let's decrease the trim path like this and then make this offset like this so you can get you will get something like this let's try to end this over here and adjust it like this okay so if i see i'll get something like this simply go to the stroke options and choose round cap so we will get something like this and if you think this looks quite weird then you can simply increase the stroke width a little bit and let's make this like this okay now select this mouth again hit ctrl d and let's decrease the stroke width and go select this color select the speaker and choose this color and hit ok and i'll decrease the size like this okay so now uh, this is how our character gonna look like this now select all of them and let's adjust the position of each and every one like this okay select everyone and make it apparent with this main now we have 
to select this main press p and let's bring this somewhere around over here now select this main press p for position and create one keyframe over here go to around 20 frames and let's move this over here okay now i'm going to select all of them and i'll press p for position for each and every one and create one keyframe then go over here now first thing first i'll select my eye and let's select this pupils and i'm gonna make it apparent with this eyes like this now select this eye and let's move this over here or instead of that select all of them except this pupil and let's move this over here and then you will select this pupil and let's move this over here like this so if i see i'll get something like this now go to around 1.10 frames select first keyframe of each and every one hit ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v and we will follow this again and again okay so i'll get something like this but now uh, after that we will go few frame forwards like somewhere around over here and we will create another keyframes okay so now if i see this animation now i'll get something like this and like this let's go over here let's select all this keyframes and let's move them a little bit upward i want a little bit more okay so this this now at this point what i'm gonna do except select this main and now i'm gonna make sure that you are over here and let's bring this uh, downwards okay so if i see i'll get this kind of stuff and let's bring this a mode a little bit down like this now select this eye let's bring this down then select all of this except this pupil and let's bring them down like this and then i'm going to select this pupil and i'll bring this down so if i see this i'll get something like this now select all the keyframes and hit f9 okay i'll get something like this but now this doesn't look uh, like actual animation because we have to edit the graph of his each and every one so let's go to the graph editor and now right click and make sure you are in edit speed graph then first we will select this handle and by holding shift i'm going to move this over here then i'll select this one and let's move this over here select this by holding shift move this totally up to here select this much portion and move this over here so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this okay let's see i'll get this kind of animation okay now let's select all of them and by holding alt i am going to move them up to one second so i'll get something like this okay now this is uh, for this animation only for now what i'm gonna do i'll go around somewhere let's say around seven seconds and now what we need to do we will select those keyframes we will hit ctrl c ctrl v 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 and ctrl c ctrl v why we are doing that we will see later uh, let's select all these keyframes and right click keyframe assistance and time reverse layers so now these are in the reversible format and now what we need to do we need to select all the keyframes like this right click go to the keyframe interpolation and instead of auto bezier let's choose linear and let's see what we will get like this make sure that graph editor has not changed so uh, we need to do this procedure for not getting any uh, turbulence in between whether they are not keyframes like this so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this and then after that we will get this kind of stuff okay and instead of the reverse let's do one thing right click and choose keyframe uh let's go to the keyframe assistance and re again remove this time reverse keyframes we don't want need to time reverse keyframes for this uh we'll see that later uh yeah now select all of them and make sure to enable this motion blur what it will do it will add a little bit of depth in our animation like this now after that uh let's select this eye and this pupil and let's uh 
okay so all of them are proper we don't need to change anything over here now we will go to the main animation we will hit ctrl 0 to open our project window and we will bring this character over here and let's move this over here select this character hit ctrl d let's move this over here double click hit ctrl k to open this uh, let's name it properly okay now after this again hit ctrl d and hit ctrl d okay now select all of them and let's adjust it like this let's bring this downwards so if i see this i will get this kind of animation now we need to adjust our ball over here so for that what i'm gonna do over here with the help of the speaker i'll select this color only but a little bit of different version of that color and by holding shift we will create one ellipse i don't want any stroke so let's delete the stroke select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press v and let's move this over here so now we will start to animate this ball let's select this ball first press p select this position right click and choose separate dimensions then create one keyframe at x position and go to around let's say around four second maybe and let's move this from here to here like this then go to the start create one keyframe at y position go to around one second or let's say around over here again create one keyframe go over here create another keyframe go to the last keyframe and again create another keyframe okay now in middle of that we will select this ball and we will bring totally up to here like this okay now we will follow copy this first keyframe i mean this keyframe hit ctrl c go over here hit ctrl v go over here and hit ctrl v now select all the y position keyframes make sure that you are choosing only y position and simply hit f9 go to the graph editor go to the start again make sure that you are in edit spread graph simply right click and you can check it out now select this middle one hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here select this and adjust it like this like this okay then we will select this one hold shift adjust it like this and like this sorry and like this okay again select this like this zoom in okay so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this if you see over here uh, the thing is still, still curved so now select those keyframes go over here zoom in a little bit select this hold shift and adjust it like this so it should look like that again go over here i think this looks good to me but still we will zoom in and adjust it properly like this select this again zoom in like this okay so now select all the keyframes by holding alt i'm gonna shift them up to three seconds so we'll get this a little bit fast and after that we will select all the keyframes we will hit ctrl c hit page down button one times and hit ctrl v and right click keyframe assistance and time reverse layers so if i see from here we will get this animation this this and again it will start to go from here to here okay now uh, first i'll select this and let's go over here now at this point i want this should start to bounce but not from the start so for that what we are going to do as you guys know that i have created four crop copies over here same we will do over here we will select this character we will hit ctrl d to create one copy i'll select this fourth layer which is this one and by holding alt hold i am going to replace it with this same we will select this hit ctrl d by holding alt i'll replace it 
select this hit ctrl d by holding alt i'll replace it okay so now i have replaced each and every one of them successfully so now double click to open this hit u so we can see the keyframes let's select all these keyframes and by holding shift i'm gonna move this keyframes over here so now first it will bounce then it will bounce now at this point press u go over here at this point i want this third one should start to animate so i'll hit u select this whole and let's move this over here go to the main animation go over here now at this point i want this fourth one should start animate so hit u select those and let's move this over here okay so i'll get this kind of stuff now at this point this third one should start animate again so double click and select those last keyframe of them that's why i have duplicated uh, the keyframes and hold shift not hold shift but simply move this over here go over here select this select those last keyframe and let's move them over here like this go over here go to the last and for the last one we don't need to and do anything simply hit n so it will trim the comp over here so we will get this kind of animation from here to here to here okay and after that simply go to this character and this is uh, not compulsory animation you can skip this process also you have this i thing over here all you need to do is simply press s create one keyframe over here go over we unlink this first of all and go to around 10 frames let's create one keyframe again go few frame forward around one second and create another keyframe and go to the five and let's make this zero at this so we'll get a little bit of eye blinking animation only select those keyframes hit f9 i'll click on the stopwatch type loop out expression on it okay so we will get this animation continuously throughout our animation and if you want then you can change the duration of this like this okay uh, but the i uh, this uh, thing is not uh, necessary so you can simply skip this process also because this will create some complications in our loop so i would not recommend to do that but if you want then you can and you can enable the motion blur for this ball also like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of loop inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned